It's about the experience. What do our patients want? What are their goals? And how can we help achieve those goals? When you come to West Park, it needs to feel warm. We want you to feel comfortable. West Park Healthcare Centre is here to get patients' lives back. And we want to do that by integrating our care, our education and our research and give them the best experience and the most positive experience possible. We wanted to create an environment where patients felt more supported, families felt reassured and everybody could experience the warmth of genuine care. We've created what we think is a warm, welcoming environment. We've introduced elements of nature in terms of color, in terms of the flow of the building. We've tried to make it as straightforward as possible. There is a signage motif that helps with the wayfinding. We want you to be able to come in, sit down, meet with your friends, chat, find your way to the cafeteria, find your way to the terrace, find your way to the piano lounge, wherever you want to hang out. What we've really tried to incorporate within the building are various destinations. Places where patients and families can go, can just have some time together. Being in a rehab facility, patients are here to work, to achieve their goals. Furniture is key. It's practical. It's ergonomic. It's functional. That's what our patients, our staff, our visitors need. Many of our patients have mobility devices, they may have some challenges in terms of their physical abilities, but our furniture enables them to get in a chair, get out of a chair. It may seem simple, but it's so key for their rehabilitation and the journey that they're on. We think of the patients all the time, but the staff are here every day as well. We want them to be energized and help support the healing process for all the people they're working with. Having this new space, I can give the best possible care to my patients. West Park is a place of hope and healing. I am proud of all of the effort that has gone into this. The number of hours, the number of decisions, the debates, the discussion by staff, patients, and families. And I think without all those perspectives, we would not have the building that we have today.